Yeah, thank you so much. At the outset, I really thank Dr. Bansi Sabu for the kind invitation. I invite. I also thank the chair for the kind introduction of mine. I think I have been attached with Bansi Bai since the first diacon, and I came to Ahmedabad, so it's like my home ground there. I can say, if not anything. So let me get my slide deck up. Just a second. Okay, fine. So the topic that I have been given. Today is practical considerations with insulin. So we talk about storage, how do we give, what are the techniques that should we do. Even though I have a slide tag, this is a Novo sponsored simple and it is, you know, I've been given an honorarium for that. I would like to make my talk much more practical and bring my own experience to it just rather than go through the slide set that we have. Now, insulin is is basically, I would say the Amitabh Bachchan against the fight of diabetes because we know the problem of diabetes is either your insulin isn't working and there is resistance or your body is not being able to produce insulin. It's very simple. So insulin is a key factor in our armamentarium in diabetes. But there are certain things we ought to be careful about it and we ought to be aware about it. Like insulin, if it is stored at very high temperatures, it will lose its potential and biological activity. So what would that mean is that despite you giving the insulin, it may not have the desired effect as what we want to do. So incorrect storage will lead to degradation and loss of potency and also increase the risk of lipohypertrophy. Now theory is different and practical is different. Now in India, most people will keep the insulin in the fridge in the door, take it out, insulin lenge turant or wapas rakdenge and then they will have their food. And so the median gap is only about five minutes. And if that is the gap because it is in cold temperature, this may cause pain at the injection sites and may also cause allergic reaction if required to that. And, you know, most people will say I keep my insulin at cool places, but a definition of the cool places may not be well defined. Now, India, the beauty of India is that we have wider climate across northeast, southwest and central. And there are certain hot places and there are certain cold places. Now, India is known for its economic disparity and not most places may have refrigerators. And even if they have refrigerators, electrical supply may be a bit erratic. So this is a challenge to elect, uh, storage. And especially in cold areas, you need, we need to be careful how we can maintain the temperature and dispose insulin. And for this, a lot of Jugar system happens in India, which I'll come to that. India is known for its Jugar system. We are known to modify to our needs and how we can do it. So there are certain things that we can use to keep the temperature in rural areas with limited facilities. It can be kept in a small bowl of water and not to keep this container in direct sunlight. We can keep it in a cool wet cloth and our ghada, you know, the eight old ghada ka pani hum kehte hain, ghada ka pani pyo body ke liye achcha hota hai, wo ghade mein bhi aap insulin rakh sakte hai, but you must make sure that the water level is below the neck of the vial to prevent possible leakage into or contamination of insulin supply. So we have been blessed with things we have modified and there are people in rural areas where they don't have fridge and these are the things that you can suggest. In more rural areas or in urban areas where there are better facilities, you can use thermocool boxes or a good insulated vaccination boxes. But ice packs, if you're going to use, make sure that they're changed on a weekly basis. We don't want a pani pani wala ice pack. We need a frozen ice pack and they should be changed on a weekly basis. The other thing is, if you're going to in a hospital ward where a lot of insulin vials and pens are said, the bed number and the name of the patient should be very clearly uh, mentioned. And this is something which should be adhered to for safety reasons in this era. Now, agar aap kisi se pucho, aap kaha rakhte ho, they will say, hum fridge mein rakhte hai, which we all agree, this is the best place to store the insulin. But if you ask them where you kept in the fridge, this is an audit. If anybody does, we will get wide variety of answers. I think nobody kept it in the freezer. That part I agree because we all know that frozen will lose, make it lose its potency. But they generally keep it at the door. But if you look at the door, the door of the fridge keeps getting open and closed at all times. So there's a lot of variations of temperature that happens at these places. So the open insulin is best kept at the vegetable compartment where the temperature is maintained at a stable 14 degree. And unopened can be, can be kept out here in the butter compartment below the freezer where it would be best to keep the unopened. Once you've opened the insulin, you can keep it at room temperature for 28 days to 30 days. Now, there are certain uh, things in cold areas 
that they have uh, they use it wrapped up in two or three layers of warm woolen clothes made of sheep wool well no data is there you know logically in places where they don't have to maintain a temperature this can be looked as a rational for such insulin practices but this is very important if you are going to keep or transport the insulin never ever make the mistake of putting the insulin directly on ice this should be avoided it should be in the packet that is there and the packet should also be in a way because otherwise if you put the direct cartridge or direct there the expiry date the wrapper may come out insulin uh, you know the, the if you, the mouth is inverse or the top is inverse it may cause problems with the potency of the insulin so insulin in short can be should be stored between 28 to 8 degree and at room temperature for 28 days it can be there and we need to never ever send insulin products together with dry ice and protect it from direct sunlight that can be there. Now this is important. This is really important. I would like to bring your attention to this. Never leave the needle attached to the pin once you have taken the dose. Because in the winter, air bubbles may form in the cartridge when cold and in the summer, insulin may leak out of the cartridge when hot and this may cause incorrect mixture and dosing especially if you are using pre-mixed insulin because it may derange the mixture ratio so the needle should be taken off ideally when you are keeping it this is all about storage so what we talked about storage if i'm going to nutshell it keep it in you know unopened fridge in the butter department open insulin in the vegetable department take the needle off when you are using it after the use once you are taken out of the fridge if you want to keep it in the fridge let it thaw down that will prevent the pain that is there and needles should not be left attached this is there and in places where you have fridge possible nahi hai, we can we have our desi large for everything that that you can try and recommend to the patients not talk let's talk about insulin techniques i think there are certain ideally never reuse insulin pen needles we say that ideally and i say that ideally because we know people do that so minimize as minimal as ask them to change needles we know it comes at a cost but you know as frequently as they can change that would be ideal normally public a needle laga de, pura pen nikal de de usse. so i think ideally they should be changed at every use if not you know, in a pragmatic manner you can do never massage the injection sites this may cause rapid or slow absorption you must be known of the expiry date and that insulin that you are taking at now I, I will just you know rather than going through the slide set this is a novo pen uh, insulin which is available this is not available in india because i'm going to come to that in a short minute these are 0.5 unit insulin pens so the beauty of this and, and this is the same thing which i'm going to say for most insulin pens is whenever you are dialing or teaching the patient to dial the insulin need uh, the doses you also i also teach them to hear from the ears because you will hear clicks you hear short clicks when are there and if you hear the clicks patient can be used to knowing it from his ears as well because people we have got patients with retinopathy who may not be able to see properly so let them i train them with hearing their voices and then i tell them to hold the insulin pen i said this ko aap aise chaku ki tarah pakdo angutha upar hona chahiye aap jab murder karne jaate ho to aadmi bachna chahiye nahi chahiye aise jab aap diabetes ko defeat karne ke liye insulin ka kalam ko banaya to aapka grip acha hona chahiye because if you hold it like a pen the hand will shake so your grip should be very good when you are there now people said you should prime like this i ideally say you should prime like this because three things happen you can see it from your eyes it falling you can feel it in the hands that drop falling and at least you know that the needle is the needle is not blocked the insulin is working and what dose you are going to give will always uh, be useful for the patient so that is there if you are on a pre-mixed insulin in a pen you need to shake it well the insulin sites should be changed and once you press it you should hold till 10 seconds now count slowly and i would as you would request that you teach them how to count and i get them to count back to me because people count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i make them count and i make them count till 15 so that if you learn 5 extra, you will be able to reach 10 extra. See, this is how Indian life works and you need to modify with that as well. The needle, as I said, must be taken away uh, from this when you are using it. Dispose. Ideally, your hands should be wiped when, we are, when you are washed, when you are going to take your own insulin. And if you are using a sin, uh, you must wipe it with the alcohol swab that is there. The insulin sites has to be changed. This is very, very important. 
because it's always better you teach the patient to feel the sites with the hand the insulin lumps are better felt than better seen so when the patient comes i ideally get my staff to actually feel their abdomen i also feel their abdomen and i explain to the patient how to feel their abdomen because they can feel it better rather than you looking at the lump that are there there are various places that you can use insulin abdomen thighs buttocks and arms but certain things which i would definitely say is that if somebody is using a lot of weights and do a lot of exercises of the hand then try to avoid the arms because the rapid onset of the insulin may ensure with that that is there now we talked about devices they can be vials and syringes uh, which can be there now if you are using the adobe n4 which is a silver color which is available in the market and you are using the same basil and bolus it may cause confusion so what i do is that i put them to make a color a sticker on top of it so that they can identify that the green is uh, uh, you know uh, treseba orange is novo rapid so they can identify what color that they are using so that they don't miss up because it's not uncommon to find out a patient instead of novo rapid have taken treseba or lizodec so i make them color if they are using the same novo rapid pens uh, flex pens that they are going to use now the needles come in 4 to 6 mm and one has to understand based upon how thin the person is I choose between four to six millimeter. Standard is six millimeter, but you do get for very thin patients. I would suggest using four millimeter pen. That can be done, and you don't have to you you know hold the skin fold traditionally, which has been taught. So a lot of factors can be used. Practicality takes sense. My request would be to actually teach it yourself or your staff to teach it rather than pass it on to the pharma company to do it. Trust me, I find that that is better. you can teach them better and as sambit has already shown the first dose if administered in the clinic is always nice that can be done i talked about the novo pen 4 and i said the audible clicks are very important make sure the audible clicks are very important patients who are extremely sensitive as i have suggest shown this 0.5 unit pens not available freely in india but you can order them on the internet i get for my patients i import them from the uk the half unit adjustment the less need less injection force to be there for patients who need better you know have got dexterity problem and the better thing for this is that there's a memory thing as well so it will remember the last dose that you have been given so people who have memory problems and sensitive type 1 diabetes patients this is a fantastic pen to have or to ask the pen to order on the that you talk about accidental doses but if you can color code it this generally does not happen and it's very very useful going on to insulin pump i think it's fantastic for a type 1 diabetic patients if they can afford an insulin pump it's a it gives them the flexibility of life it gives them freedom from diabetes it gives them freedom from stigma and let them lead a normal life that is that but you see a knife in the wrong hands can be dangerous a knife in the hand of a barber and the hand of a surgeon are two different things or in the hand of a butcher is very different so make sure before you give a loaded gun to the patient is well trained to do card counting to to check his sugar how to understand his insulin sensitivity ratio and know how to adjust his sugar once he has done that i would suggest using normal saline in his and give him a two week on the insulin pump to see whether he has the capacity to cope with it and if he does have the capacity to cope with it then insulin pump would be a fantastic thing for him to give him flexibility in his lifestyle that are there but beware even if you are giving the patients insulin pump they should always have uh, you know insulin pens with them because sometimes the pump the kink the uh, it may kink in the stomach and the insulin delivery may not happen so you must have a standby insulin uh, either vial or syringe or, or pen for the patient to know that you are there and he must be able to do this color coding of insulin if you see the insulin vials they each have a different color but that's fine you can you can see what pins insulin your patients are having and if they are having the same company's two pen you should actually put a color and advise the patient to have a color now lipo hypertrophy sites are rubbery lesions that as if the same places if i'm going to slap myself at the same place the whole place is going to be very lumpy and will malfunction and this is what happen if the sites are not rotated same place it is happening the insulin accumulates there and may suddenly go inside causing wide fluctuations of your insulin that might be not achieving what we really need to achieve and it will cause pain with the patient as well so lipo hypertrophy if can be avoided if you're going to you know uh, rotate the sites as well proper hygiene needs to be maintained if you are using insulin uh, pump 
the, uh, the infusion sets must be changed in three days and the needles ideally should be changed every day if you're using insulin pen if not after one or two use whenever the patients can afford it insulin allergy is something very important this happens which i think is a couple of reasons number one it happens because of the preservative in the insulin in england when i was done a couple of insulin desensitization of patients who were allergic to insulin and we did very very minute doses specially prepared for them and i was been able to desensitize and that paper has been published however you may get this if you also directly take out from the fridge and inject yourself so let the insulin thaw out that is there and if required you may need to swap uh, to another insulin as well basal insulin a uh, couple uh, of them one of them being lantus sometimes can call a stinging feeling in some patients and if you feel that feeling you should be able to change uh, the basal insulin for that so the key message is today that we have discussed is that the insulin when taken out can be kept at 28 degrees insulin not used in the butter compartment insulin when used in the vegetable compartment if no fridge you can use desi methods to do this because we are an evolving country avoid freezing of insulin products never send them along with dry ice correct technique is very important and make sure when the patient comes every visit that the technique is checked kyunki jab hum gaadi chalate rehte hain 3 saal baad 6 mahine ke baad hum left right upar niche jaise gaadi chalana chahiye bhul jate so the back to basic is very important when the patient sits you and if you rotate the injection sites you change the needles and you educate the patient we would be uh, far ahead in our fight as sambita said our hba1c at in overall will come in and use color coding of insulins when they using the same pen with that i would end my talk i'll be happy to be part of the any questions that can be there thank you so much